Hello, space enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the ever-evolving universe of Star Citizen and exploring whether 2024 is the right time for you to embark on your interstellar journey or not. I'm J-Ho, so let's jump on in. Star Citizen has been in development for quite some time, and it's no secret that the journey has had its ups and downs. However, as we step into 2024, the game has made significant progress with numerous updates and features continually shaping the experience. I recently finished a 10 day playthrough series and it was the first time in the three years that I've owned the game that I've actually been able to play it. I'll leave a card in the link so you can go ahead and watch that playthrough series if you do wish. The game has always been super buggy and impossible to play. Well today, it has some bugs still, but I haven't had anything substantial enough to keep me away from playing, whereas the three years prior, I would stop playing almost immediately. It is in a much, much better state now. The development for this game has taken a very, very long time. It has been an alpha from what I understand for almost a decade or over a decade. This community supports this game to amazing levels and supplies them with the cash needed to truly develop a game of this magnitude though. As of today, 2024, it is an unfinished game in plays as such, even though there is a ton of things to do and see in game already, it is ever expanding. One standout aspect of Star Citizen is its breathtaking graphics and immersive gameplay. The level of detail in the game's environments, ships, and mechanics is unparalleled. If you're a fan of stunning visuals and crave a deeply immersive space adventure, Star Citizen does deliver that. The first time I experienced the scale and immersion of this game is something that I'll never forget. The moment you first leave a planet and fly into space and look behind, at the planet you just left is an absolutely magical moment. There are many things that you get immersed in in the game. I have thought that I'm going to play for three hours and that I have to work in the morning and five hours later as I'm yawning, I have to peel myself away from this game. Time flies when you're having fun. Exploration, trade, combat. Star Citizen offers a diverse range of gameplay experiences for all player types. The universe is vast and dynamic, providing a sense of freedom and choice. Whether you want to trade commodities, engage in thrilling space battles, or explore uncharted territories, Star Citizen does cater to a variety of play styles. Being that there is a, a million different ways you can play the game, uh, in my community, there has been multiple people showing me their favorite ways to play a game, and everyone is much, much different in the way they like to go about things. This game is going to be a true MMO with a vast economy. I will say the economy is broken currently, and there isn't really that much to spend your money on. Not much for a money sink, uh, which my biggest gripe might be the long-term progression in this game. It just doesn't seem like it's quite in there yet, and all we are doing is hoarding money with nothing to spend it on other than ships that only really make us just more money faster. One of the strengths of Star Citizen is its active and passionate community. Joining an organization, participating in events, or simply interacting with fellow citizens can enhance your gaming experience. The sense of community fosters a shared love for the game and often results in collaborative gameplay. As a new member of the community, it has been extremely inviting. I have been getting helped so much along the way, and I keep hearing stories of how other people help others as well. Even just through VoIP and talking to people, and they said this person helped them out. It does seem super genuine and supportive of all people. I love diversity and inclusion, and believe it is important of just being a good person. And this game's community feels that in those aspects, it fits it perfectly. I don't have a single gripe about the community, but I have seen a video from Avenger1 on YouTube where there was a big issue with a small part of the community being very toxic. This is in competitive dogfighting, so most people would most likely not be a part of this, but that would be the only negativity of the community that I have seen or experienced in my time in Star Citizen to date. Cloud Imperium Games, CIG, the team behind Star Citizen has been transparent about their development process. Regular updates, roadmap releases, and open communication with the community to demonstrate a commitment to delivering a polished and enjoyable final product. Although that product may not be anywhere near polished or unfinished at this point in time, I do have faith that it will get there eventually. That's not why I play though. I play because the current game experience is a blast. 
and 2024 should be Star Citizen's biggest year yet. There is a weekly show on YouTube called Inside Star Citizen, or ISC, and they talked about all the things coming in 2024, and it's going to be an exciting year for playing the game. While Star Citizen has faced criticism for performance issues in the past, ongoing optimization efforts aim to improve stability and reduce bugs. Keep in mind that the game is still in development, so occasional hiccups may occur. However, the team's dedication to refining the user experience is evident. From personal experience and assessment, I'd say that you may experience a bug that prevents you from proceeding on a mission maybe once every four to five hours, which stinks, but not the end of the world. There may be other, you know, one to two bugs that you may experience in that time frame as well, such as an elevator not loading or your ship not being able to quantum jump, which is uh, your light speed travel. Those are minor fixes though. You basically just leave the space station and come back or get up from your seat and walk around and come back and then it just works again. This game is in alpha and not even beta yet, so you can definitely expect bugs if you are going to be playing the game. As you play, they get easier and easier to deal with as you, you know, learn how to navigate them. The biggest determining factor is going to be your own tolerance to it. This will vary by individual. There have been people playing this game for a very long time while I purchased it in 2020, and now I'm finally able to play it. My tolerance threshold has been met now, and I can actually truly enjoy the game. Whereas when other people were playing it, you know, a few years ago, it wasn't there for me. So I completely get it, and it might be worth you to test and explore that yourself. As we reach the conclusion of our journey through the Star Citizen universe in 2024, the verdict is clear. If you're fascinated by the idea of a vast, visually stunning space simulation with a dedicated community, now is a great time to dive into Star Citizen. The game has come a long way, and with continued updates, it's shaping up to be an extraordinary space adventure in 2024. Now on the cons I can think of is, if you can't tolerate the instances of instability and bugs in the game, it may be worth a shot to give it a try and then have a game pack for the future when stability increases. This is basically what I did. I knew I wanted the game, but was unable to play it and enjoy it. Now I'm more than happy with where it's at. So is Star Citizen worth a purchase in 2024? In my eyes, yes. I would buy this game 100 times over again if given the decision. This will vary depending on each individual person though, and if you're okay with having an experience with workarounds, but a great community to help you learn them. My thought process is a game is worth $1 per hour of my gaming time. You can buy this game for $45. If you think you can get 45 hours of gaming out of this game throughout its lifetime, it's worth the purchase in my eyes. Thank you for joining me today. If you've played Star Citizen or have any questions, share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. And uh, until next time, safe travels. See you in the verse.